time friends I'm almost late for work because I was just leaving and I have a flat tire so I just had to go wake up Jimmy and see if there's like a spare or something he can put on real quick but I most definitely will be late for work so I sent a text to my manager and hopefully she responds with grace because this is certainly out of my control. So the next obstacle is to try and not wake Maddie up while he's coming down the stairs and helping me. So it's just one of those things. Why is it always something? Here's my flat. What in the world am I gonna do about this? Because the back of my van does not open. All right, so seriously, I think I have the worst luck known to man. I really think I do. I think that I'm just being tested or something. Like we're just being, I don't know. We're definitely being tested by fire. Um, but, so here's the situation. I am currently in my mom's van. I'm driving her van to work. And the story is um, the tire was not in stock at the tire store, believe it or not. And um, they would not warranty the tire even though we had purchased the extended warranty because of one reason or another they said the tread was slightly below the level to which the warranty would cover which i think is um yeah i don't know i'm not going to say what i think about that but you guys could probably figure it out um so we're going to have to pay you know 120 dollars for this tire and it's going to be two hours before they can get it in so I'm gonna drive my mom's van to work and then I'm going to, she's gonna drive my van home once he gets the tire fixed. And then after work, I'm going to be going over and switching out the vehicles at my mom's house. And of course, this would happen on the one day this week that I am scheduled to work. One day, just one out of seven, one day here I am you know missing out on hours worth of work and then the other nurse that was supposed to be working with me today called in sick so the urgent care has absolutely no clinical staff whatsoever they have a provider and that's it so oh my gosh luckily the manager is being really understanding and I think she, well I know she's a Christian so <laughs> that definitely helps um, you know she's very understanding and um, unfortunately you know sh I've had a lot of these life situations come up qu quickly and out of my control it's just like oh my gosh what I don't know how I would hold down a full-time job because I always have these life circumstances out of my control coming up I mean I don't know like I just feel like I have really bad luck <laughs> I'm just going to trust in the Lord to handle our situation, but I will say this, we need another vehicle. We need a third vehicle for times like these when we can't, you know, get to where we need to go because of, you know, transportation situations. It's been a transportation issue for the past year, every other month, it feels like. It really has been. It was my van, then it was my husband's truck, and then it was the van again. And then I think it was the truck again. Yeah, I mean, it's just been like ongoing, constant issues. Yeah, my van broke down. It was a huge repair. Um, the truck broke down. We had it fixed. Shortly thereafter, I had an accident on 85 where that uh, a tire from an 18-wheeler actually came off and hit us. Um, and damage the back of the van and then um, and then yeah and then right after that the truck um, the drive shaft was the drive shaft thing that we recently went through where it completely fell out and ruined the transmission so it's like constant it's constant like it's no break no break I don't know I don't 
don't know. Do you guys have luck like me? I just feel like we're the only ones going through like constant turmoil and constant like obstacles that we have to figure out how to get through. It's just really discouraging. Anyway, life is tough. Life is tough. But you know what? I mean, I do have faith that there is a reason for everything and you know God takes what is meant for bad and turns it into good for his children and those that he loves so um, you know what maybe there was gonna be a really bad accident and I was gonna be involved in it you know I have to think about it that way and know that God has my best interest at heart and I'm gonna just praise him and thank him for the blessing that I don't know about but I'm sure is there so um, that's all that I'm going to say about that. I'm just so over it and so ready to just get to work and start my day. Believe it or not, I am ready to get to work. I just feel bad that my husband's day is now shot and he's going to have to wait and get that tire and then fix it so that my mom can get home. And so his entire day is going to be completely shot. And that is not good because today was important for him. Okay, I said I wasn't going to talk anymore about that, so let me shut up. Um, well, the good news is I got to see my kids before I left the house, which is always nice. And Maddie was still in bed asleep, which is doubly nice and super, super encouraging that she may be in a happy mood today because of her rest. All right, I'm going to do my routine stop here. Pick up a protein bar and a banana and maybe a pack of crackers for later. I might as well get another coffee since I'm still yawning. Um, this truck, oh. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. such a blessing because after work she knows like you just want to get home and I mean thank goodness we got out on time but we, it could have been late and so um, anyway I'm driving my van and um, I have a new tire on the van and Jimmy had texted me earlier today and said that when he went to pick up the tire he had had a conversation with the guy at the store and kind of said, you know, I had a warranty on the tire. You know, you guys should, um, you know, stand behind that warranty. And so they did. Thank goodness. They weren't going to, but they did. And so we were able to get the tire for $17 versus $120. I don't know where the $17 came from, but that's fine with me. That's so much better than $120 that we really need right now for other things so thank God that I have a tire and I'm able to drive my van home and I looked at some things on Etsy as far as uh, the Erin Condren planner stickers and I have this wish list going on Etsy in my shopping cart so 
when I get some extra money, I'm definitely going to do a planner haul where I, you know, purchase those Etsy stickers for my Erin Condren planner. Um, and I thought that would be kind of fun to get the new planner and do a sticker haul at the same time. So I'm looking forward to that video a lot. And then I can start some of the plan with me videos, which I love. If you guys haven't checked those out, you need to check them out. Um, for people who are organizers like, you know, I am and I know a lot of you are, you will really appreciate watching the plan with me videos. Um, it just like sparks that planner in you that wants to get everything organized and you know when you're decorating your planner it's exciting and it makes it more fun and it kind of motivates you to do a little bit more um, you know planning wise so it's fun and um, I'm excited to do them so hopefully I can go ahead and get those and have those ready when my planner comes and I'm not looking for my planner probably for the next until the next three weeks. I would give it three weeks before it gets here. So this is the end of June. So I don't expect to have my Erin Condren planner until the third week of July. If I get it before then, that will be like just, you know, icing on the cake. But I don't set my expectations too high when it comes to Erin Condren and their shipping and stuff like that because they're just known for slow shipping. So, um, yeah. I'm just excited to be getting one. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm just so relieved to be home for the rest of the week. And it just feels really nice. So I'm gonna sit down tonight and make some goals for the week and plans. Um, I know one of them, actually I know like three of them. One of them is gonna be to get my van completely cleaned out because it is driving me crazy. It looks like, y'all don't even know. It's just really bad. This is like the one place in my life where I have like completely just given up is keeping my, my van clean. It's just like there are too many people in and out of the van and too many people, everybody else in my family are disorganized and do not clean. So it all falls on my shoulders and that is the, this is the one place that I have just like, just let go. Just, I've just let it go <laughs> and I need to like take a hold I need to regroup and get some motivation back to clean this fan up so that's on my to-do list this week as well as get a hundred percent caught up on my laundry that's always my goal but I'm really 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 I'm gonna give it a good try we have a dryer in our garage that I'm gonna get my husband to bring in and either switch it out with the one that's upstairs or we're gonna potentially put it downstairs because the one upstairs still works. It just takes a while to dry. So I kinda don't wanna completely get rid of it, you know, cause I could use it to dry clothes and we have lots of clothes. So the more the merrier, right? Um, the only downfall is the other hookup for the dryer is in the mud room. So I would end up having to give up like a probably an entire wall of our storage which is our pantry I don't know how that is gonna work but we'll figure it out I guess um, so if that doesn't pan out I mean that sounds like a lot of work to me we'll probably just end up switching it out and I'll just sell the one that I have for like dirt cheap to somebody who knows how to fix that problem who doesn't care that it takes forever to dry um, yeah, so that's my other goal is to get completely caught up in my laundry. My third goal is third. This is my third goal. My third goal is to switch out the car seats. Um, the one in Jimmy's truck for the one in here. So Maddie does not unhook her seatbelt and climb out of her car seat anymore. I don't think she can do that in the other car seat. So those are the three goals that I have. Oh, and to pick up the food that I need for the meals this week. Like, hammer down our, our meal plan tomorrow morning, get the food that we need, and be done. So, those are, like, top of my list. Gotta do it. And I have to send a check to someone, which is really, really important. I have to do that first thing tomorrow morning. Um, I don't know why I'm just sitting here rattling off, like, all of my to-do list. But, I guess it just makes me feel better to say it out loud. So, anyway, I'll 
see you guys when I get home. I know you don't want to hear me. Yep, 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 yep. So I will see you when I get home. Bye guys. Hi, pretty. I'm a doggy. What? I'm a doggy. You hear a doggy? Yeah. Where? There. Over there? Where is it? Hi, hey. doggy. A doggy? Doggy. Did you miss mommy? Yeah. I miss you too. Yeah. Huh? There's Jacob. Hey, Jacob. Oh, how are you? Oh, hey, Gowie. You are so sweet, boy. Some idea, bro. You are so sweet. No, it's my idea to come. I have a purse, a lunchbox, and something else over there, and then that computer. I should hey. learn. I should learn some piano oh, lessons you today. You did? Yeah. Come and give me lovies. How are you? How are you? Mwah. Missed you today. Mm. Oh, there's the doggy. Hey, doggy. Um, what? What? Doggy. We didn't go outside today. You didn't? Mm -mm. Why not? Because it's too hot. Yeah, it's been too hot. We'll go out tomorrow. Maybe we'll go to the park or something. I want to go to the beach. You want to go to the beach? Yes. We'll just, I said maybe we'll go to the park or something. Well, I don't know. That's too far. You want to go to the beach? Yes. But, but maybe I want to go to the beach. To the park what to make like a sandcastle. Okay, here's the new tire. Well, that's a nice tire. Looks a lot better than the one that was on there this morning. Ah. <laughs> you ready for night night? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah? <laughs> Are we gonna get your jammies on? Mm -hmm. Let's go get your jammies on. So we are getting Maddie's jammies on for night night. Let's find you a gown. I don't know why, but I just love Maddie to wear gowns at night. I'm gonna go get you a gown. Or maybe there's one in here. Yep. Or, you have these cute silky ones. Do you wanna wear the cute silky ones? Um. I think I'll just let her choose. Come here, you wanna choose? Huh? Look, do you want Ariel? Here's Ariel. Or you want the cupcakes? Um, these? Only the other. The cupcakes? Cupcakes. Or Elsa? Yeah. Or the Elsa? Which ones do you want? <laughs> it's Elsa. You've been around Mason too much. Have you even seen Mason acting silly? Is he teaching you how to be silly? <laughs> Here, step in. You're being silly. You're being silly, girl. Okay, now let's look at you in the mirror and see how pretty you are. Let's see. Let's see. What are you doing? Oh. That's a cool move you got going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to jump in. You're doing what? Jump Jumping. In. Say hello to Mr. Monkey. Hello, Miss Maddie. Are you ready for bed? I love you very much, and I'm ready for bed. Can I sleep with you tonight? <laughs> Can I Matt. sleep with you, please? <laughs> I really need a friend. No. Please. <laughs> we could be best friends. Aubrey. <gasps> Who's that? Bunnies. <laughs> bunnies. Oh, 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 oh. Bunnies. Hey, bunnies. <laughs> oh, bunnies. Oh, bunnies. Daddy's girl. Oh, it's bunnies. Daddy's girl Daddy's strikes girl. again. That's Daddy's girl. Yes. Daddy steals mm -hmm. the baby. That's my baby. Daddy steals baby from mommy. That's my baby. Maddie, are you mommy's girl? Did she zip up? Yes, like as soon as she heard you.
we got him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's still trying to go backwards. Yeah, I got that all on tape, yo. Oh I got that on tape. Bro. Yo, he's sitting on this little kid toy. But let me tell you, dude, we just found another one like at the Goodwill the other night. And I know, but I don't care. But it was so fun. It's these things are fun. They're meant for like littler kids. But we don't really care. Okay, I've got to find it first, guys. Oh, here it is. Okay, this one's like really bright. You've probably already seen it in the videos. No. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, yo. What up? All right, you guys ready? All right, so I got paper and he threw rocks, so I win. So now we shall do. So he's going to be it first. Cause we hate being it. So yeah, let's go. Let's <laughs>